Welcome to the first one hour workshop. Um, today, we are going to be making a paper towel holder. So first things first, we gotta sketch it. Um, paper, pencil and Sharpie probably. So flange, a cap. This is probably gonna be good. We probably don't need it in this long, but that'll probably be fine. I'm just thinking like standard, super easy, just like simple base. And then it can sit, actually we might shift this back a little bit. I can do my brand there, that might be nice to have the apartment. We can do it on top of another piece. So something like that. This is obviously a really rough sketch with no, no dimensions at all. So let's do that. Let's grab some material first and we'll figure it out as we go. This is all cutting board stock I'm trying to see. We could do walnut. Walnut for sure is that sort of top piece over here. I think that'll lend itself well. Um, walnut is also pretty water resistant and pretty rock resistant. People normally think of cedar as an outdoor wood, but walnut is actually way more rock resistant. It's just more expensive. So people generally use cedar and cedar is a little lighter, so it lends itself better to outdoor furniture. So I think that's gonna be good like that. Or actually maybe like that so that we have you know, less of that crack. Um, and we can brand the logo right there. So I've given very little thought into how wide this needs to be, but I think we'll figure it out as we go. So that's my branding kit. I got all my branding irons that you guys see. That's my logo one, which is pretty cool. I think I'm okay if the logo gets overlapped a little bit by the paper towels in the beginning of the roll, because I mean, that doesn't really matter. Because I want to cut this down at least slightly so it's a little bit smaller. And I think that we can definitely take some off each side. Um, so I think we'll take probably three quarters of an inch. We currently have about three quarters on each side, so if I take three quarters of an inch off this board, and then we'll get into the rest of it. So, grab safety stuff, and then we'll get going. We'll do a quarter inch reveal on each side, and then we'll probably do a quarter inch on each end. So that'll get us to, it'll, you know, create a nice buffer. So we need five and a half plus two quarters, which is one and a half. So we'll be at six inches. So let's rip that down to six inches. So I was gonna cut this on the miter saw first, but when you cut something and it's shorter than 11 inches, not so great um, on the planer, just because it can feed it up and spit it out and it can cause damage to the planer, it can cause damage to you. So we're gonna plane this first. Um, so I'm gonna go this around the dust collector and get going. Or we're gonna glue it together, which will be a super easy step. We're gonna head over to the router uh, and just round over these edges so they're a little bit less sharp on the top edge. I think that'll give it a little bit of a better form. So we'll do that. That is 220. We don't have to do an intermediate because it's so small. Uh, so we just shoot it. And we'll get set up.
All right, so we're just gonna glue it up. Um, we're gonna try to keep the glue more or less in the center. I don't want any squeeze out. Normally you would, but it's such a big surface, it'll be fine. That way, no cleanup work. Um, and that way we can just let it sit for a little while, throw the clamps on, let them sit in the clamps for a little while, take it out, and we can put finish on pretty much right away. All right, so, so it's been sitting for probably about 30 minutes. Um, honestly, you don't even really need to let it sit that long. We're gonna check a coat of finish on. Um, I'm actually gonna exchange this 18 inch pipe just for a 12 inch pipe. It's just gonna look way better with that, um, and it's worth it. Again, only a few dollars. So let's get a coat of finish on, and then we'll get going. So we just got back from the store. Uh, we picked up the 12 inch pipe. I cleaned these off with just a little mineral spirits. It helps get that black outer paint off. We're gonna drill out um, the holes for the flange. So we'll find a good location for that. So we'll mark it out. Just the centers of each of the holes so we know where to drill. So now we're just gonna get it assembled and then we'll be ready to go. Why am I sitting? I don't know. You pulled up the stool. 